Hi, hello everyone and welcome back to Lilypad Manor. Today's just going to be a, a sh quick short video of me building a sort of uh, filler habitat today for the lovely Gnarl Monitor. Now I, I sort of had a big gap in the middle of uh, where the meerkats are up to the white rhinos and past to where the bridge for the West African lions are and I was like what do I put here? I feel like it would just be boring if there's nothing here and it's just like a load of trees and foliage and so I sort of had a look at like smaller animals that I could put in that didn't need a lot of room and I came across the null monitor now this animal I haven't really used before um, so it was quite interesting to try and make a small little piece of area for it I think it fits really nicely in and it's quite a nice animal just to walk past because it's not really a lot to look at but it's quite nice just to look at before you go see the big exciting kind of animals but they are very cool nonetheless so i made them like they have um their nice little bit of pond they didn't need loads of water uh but they obviously need a bit because they are a nile monitor and obviously the nile is a big river in africa <laughs> so um i assume they monitor said river judging by their name uh, <laughs> Um, so yeah they needed a bit of water so I gave them that and then used a similar fencing to what I did with the Mika habitat which is the African the North African logs which I think looked really nice um, I think it looked cool and because they didn't need that much of a barrier anyway they keep them out enough I don't think they can escape uh, even though I have all the um, like settings turned off for it I think even if it, this was or franchise zoo almost um they wouldn't escape then either which is quite good quite good to know that you can make your own custom fences and they will work um and so i basically just planned out the whole sort of space it's kind of an awkward weird shaped habitat but i think it works in the end it gives them a bit of room to walk off and uh people on the track ride can still have a little peek in before they get off and all in all it just looks all right really it looks good personally uh blow my own trumpet a bit there uh i was a bit worried about what to what to do but i think the fact it is a bit more bare is quite nice because then it makes the um animal more the center of attention for this small little habitat instead of being like all the rock work but nonetheless i do have to admit i did quite a nice bit of rock work at the sort of front i don't know how to say because well, Luckily for this habitat, all sides are like viewing angles. And so the habitat did have to look nice from most sides. Annoying, which is annoying for point of views because obviously my lion habitat only really looks nice from standing on the platform. If you sort of stand everywhere, everywhere anywhere else, it looks a bit janky, but that's fine. Uh, whereas this one you have to, it has to look nice from all angles. But I think, I think it does, and I think it does look nice, but obviously the intended viewing is standing with your... Uh, the way the camera's facing now, so with your... You'd be facing the opposite way, if that makes sense. Your back would be to the shops, facing upwards, and this rock work would be sort of at your feet. Um, but I'm quite proud of this rock work and how it sort of divides the habitat a bit, and so you stand the other end of it, and then the NAR monitor is the other side. Swimming about, having a lovely time. And so yeah, I just added a bit of grass to add a bit of add a bit of colour in again, and just a bit of foliage. These little tiny trees work really well because it adds a bit of dimension and a bit of greenery to um, without adding like too much in, especially because they're quite small, flat animals. It looks quite nice overall, and plus they're just cute because they're so little. And so I just built them like a little cave almost, like a little shelter out of some rocks, out of the aquatic rocks. They got their use in today's episode. They were used quite a lot, quite quite a lot, in fact. <laughs> they are very good though, they are very versatile and very good, very good rock pieces. I've said it, I've said it before, I'll say it again. What is a planet zoo tuba? Is that planet zoo builder if you don't use a ton of rocks um and so i did add the nar monitors in with with you guys at the end of this video um just after this voiceover we will go to that video 
Um, and so I hope you do enjoy that. I shall leave you to watch the rest of this voiceover as I think it ends in it. Well, the speed build as I think it ends in a minute anyway. And I will see you for the live tour. Hello, hello, and you've just watched me build this lovely habitat for our wonderful Nile monsters, which will be- Nile monsters, is that what they're called? Mo Nile monitor, not monsters. Look at me getting the name wrong. I apologise, my dear friends. Um, so we're going to add them both in now. We're going to send them to the zoo. Uh, you will notice that people are in fact leaving my zoo. Um, the reason for this is uh, because the amount of people here uh, were causing me lag, so I just wanted to close the zoo and get everyone out and then limit the, p the number of people coming in. And so that was that was fun, that's what we're gonna do. Um, and so yeah, you watched me build this. It's a small little filler habitat, so in context to everything, for the um, African entrances here, you walk in here, are the meerkats, here's a bit of food, and here is the Narmon that's sort of in between here as a bit of a space fill, which I think is fun. You also saw I decorated around these um, around these shops a bit more. I need to carry on the rocks like I did over here. I need to carry that on uh, in a minute and do that soon. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to get the Narn monitors in with you guys. Get them in there. See how they like it. See how they're doing. I think it's quite a simple habitat, but I think that's okay for just like a small little space that people walk past as they're... Um, visiting the zoo which is very nice so yeah we just gotta wait for them now i'm sure we can see someone sprinting with a box over here they're on their way they're on the way in the meantime look we've had a baby giraffe baby giraffe how cute hello friend oh big big eyes that's they're very cute those they are very cute and i think we're about to be in time and our African elephant is about to mate. Fab also. Here we go. I've not actually used the Nile Monitor in this game before. And so this will be interesting to see what they are like. Ooh. Hello, hello. Hello, friend. How are you doing? Do you like it here? A new animal. Welcome in. Are you the male or the female? Male. He wants a bit more rock. I can do a bit more rock for you, pal. I can do a bit more rock. Here you go, have some rock. And then his lovely friend is about to come in as well. Which is fun. There we go, there's the little lady. Which is good. Come on, friend. How much rock do you want? There we go, 20%. Perfect, they've got enough water, they've got enough land space. All is well. Can you traverse everywhere? You can even get up here. That's quite cool. Stand and look at the, look at the peoples. And you can climb up on here too. That's cool, I am glad. And they've got enough stuff. Look at them swim. A swimmy boy. I love it. But yeah, I just wanted to add them in here, see them swim about, see them enjoy themselves. And hopefully when we get more guests in, they will also enjoy themselves and enjoy seeing these lovely big old lizards. Won't they? They're very cool. Very cool indeed. I also got, I recently bought the deluxe um, like expansion pack. And which means we get pygmy hippos and also komodo dragons, which is very cool. Very cool animals. So yeah, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have had a wonderful time watching this video. I hope you will join us for our next video. 
um, this was just a little filler so hopefully there'll be one coming out relatively soon that you will enjoy but I hope you enjoy this one nonetheless and we shall uh, I shall see you next time if you'd like to feel free to give this video a like and feel free to, to, to subscribe if you would like to see more content like this very video there's lots more that I have up on my channel uh, from what we've built so far and so please feel free to check that out Thank you so much for watching, guys. I shall see you very soon. Oh, bye-bye.